What is up my fellow mobile gamers in today's video we got the best talent cards to use for either in Viking Rise like and subscribe for more amazing mobile game content let's head over to our heroes so Ivor this is your first epic hero that you start with arguably the best hero for free to play pretty much versatile can use them for pretty much almost anything aside from gathering now in order to unlock your skill cards or your skill slots you are going to have to have them reach level 20 and then once you get them to level 40 the second skill slot will unlock now make sure you stick around till the end because there's two specific skill cards that are actually not in the recommended area for Ivor that are really, really strong. And I'm honestly not sure why they're not even in this recommended. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna click this. These are the recommendations. Uh, there's a few that I just wanna point out that I wanna talk about. I, the Hymn of Life, this one, I don't particularly like this for Ivor because this is strictly just going to give you some healing. And Ivor doesn't really have any skills or have anything to do with really healing. So I feel like this is so out of place with his particular play style. He does have two different ways you can go about building him. One would be just straight like attacking and the other would be more focusing on counter attacking. So if you're going to go like counter attacking wise for legendary, we have one alert. Once every six seconds, your counter attack damage will increase. That's a real good one to put on them. And then I would go ahead and pair that up with counter strike, which is an epic. When receiving damage from active skills, there's a 35% chance to cause an instance of direct damage. So again, it's just really like helping each other out. You're gonna get a ton of counter attack damage pairing those two. Another awesome legendary one, rapid attack, 20% chance of dealing instance damage. But what I really like is that it reduces reduces the enemy's healing and typically healing is very very strong in this game especially when you're kind of doing these big long battles pvp battles and you have a bunch of different people attacking one person and you just massive massive craziness going on and then if the target already has reduced healing it just increases the damage so rapid attack i really do like that one uh the other epic ones that i like is broken armor so when the deployed troops perform a basic attack you have a chance to deal direct damage and cause the target to become defenseless, which means they take 5% more damage for three seconds. This is really strong when you have multiple armies out there, especially when they're getting attacked by multiple teammates. So let's say you have two marches out there and maybe your teammate comes along and they bring two marches. If you have four marches attacking someone at once, maybe you're attacking someone's castle, this broken armor triggers, they're going to take a ton of extra damage from all those different sources. But I love this one. I think this is another absolutely amazing. Uh, let's head on over to the rares at these two cards, the Viking Hymn and Attack and Defend. They're literally the same, right? They, they say the same thing. The only difference is the Viking Hymn has this extra text at the bottom where it says, this can only be triggered once every three seconds. Now I do have attack and defend at level two. That is why this percentage is higher. So it's 7.5% as opposed to 6.5%, but at base level one, it is still 6.5%. So these cards are the same minus that extra text. So the way that I'm thinking is Viking Hymn is actually the worst one because it says this is only triggered once every three seconds while Attack and Defend doesn't have that restriction. So Attack and Defend can constantly happen, right? It can happen more than once every three seconds. Uh, that's just kind of the way that I would take it, but they pretty much are the same card in a sense. Uh, we have Agile Step, which when dealing normal attacks, there's a chance to increase the march speed. You really don't need to increase your march speed unless your enemy is trying to kind of run away. Uh, but very rarely, I mean, at that point, you're just kind of attack that you're just going to kind of destroy them and they usually can't get away. You pretty much will catch up to them. Um, and then tactical gambit. Uh, when casting an active skill, a chance to increase the defense of the hero led squad. Again, that's if you want to go more of a defensive route. But I definitely think on alert, counter strike, broken armor these are some of the better ones that i would kind of personally suggest and also rapid attack as well as another good one now let's go over the two special really good skill cards that aren't even on this list the first one being first strike 
gains 19 rage every one second for 18 seconds and it triggers immediately upon entering the battle so this is i think this is a really strong skill for pretty much almost any hero can take advantage of this because it's just going to increase the amount of rage you gain so that way you can get off your rage skills a lot faster and a lot more often so this one i absolutely love this and i definitely think this is one that if you do have it you could put on ivor to trigger his rage skill because he does have a pretty decent rage skill and the other one that i would pair this up with is going to be raised morale when casting an active skill there's a 20 percent chance to instantly gain 18 rage which can only be triggered once every three seconds so you pair raised morale up with that other one and you're constantly going to be gaining tons of rage you're going to be busting out your active rage skills so fast and really just wreaking havoc on your opponents so i really like those two and they're not even that hard to get raised morale is a blue rare and the other one is just a purple epic now if you're wondering what's an easy way to get those skill cards aside from going ahead and summoning for them once you get through some of these areas there's actually a shop right here it is the skill shop and you pretty much just have to kind of keep going and venturing through the pve area yeah this is our main castle area and then as we just kind of go through these different areas we unlock this village and then we scroll further down we unlock this village and then right beneath this village the where the prison is and the defenders camp that is where the skill shop is we'll go ahead and we'll enter it and you can just buy skill cards from this they'll just randomly pop up typically they'll cost an amount of resources so like food or lumber which is really good because i mean you don't have to really worry about wasting your gemstones if you're free to play you can come in here and buy a bunch of them skill shop does refresh at reset and you also have a certain amount of refreshes as well two for free and then after that it does cost you some gemstones but definitely come in here and look out for those specific cards that i mentioned i'm going to do some more videos about other heroes and their skill cards that i recommend you can also come in here and buy skill experience cards as well these are what is needed to go ahead and increase the level of a skill card i hope you guys and girls enjoyed the video stay happy stay safe i'll see you later peace